I gave myself a bit of a break today and I'm going to start a cleanse so I really wanted to pop in and show you guys that but since I've been back today Saturday we flew in on Tuesday so I've just been working I've been editing constantly because I don't want it all behind we have such a busy summer and I want to ensure that I'm not slacking on content which means that I wanted to give myself a break which is not really a break because I was editing I was still working but I wasn't recording so what are we going to do today is do a cleanse right now I would love to make it a five-day cleanse or a one-week cleanse but for now I'm only committing to three days because this stuff is no joke let me tell you what it is let me just apologize real quick for the overhead lighting I just I can't pull out that big ass studio light and bring it out here just to give you guys cute lighting if I look very shadowy I'm, I'm sorry the cleanse that we're doing today is the super colon cleanse if you are new here you wouldn't know that I do have gastric issues people who's been around since then you guys came with me to the doctor and stuff like that well I don't, I don't think I mentioned exactly what I was doing but you guys were aware of my frequent doctor visits trying to figure out what was going on but honestly they say I'm fine the gastrologist that Dr. Khan and he's great he's board certified he is you know he has a really great reputation he is well known in his field Dr. Khan comes highly recommended I am completely fine so because of this issue I have to stay on top of my bowel movements and by doing so I give myself a weekly cleanse but this time around I feel like I want to give myself a like a an extended cleanse I want to do three days if I could get to three days without feeling like I'm absolutely dying I will extend it to five and if I'm still okay I'll do two more and make it a seven day cleanse enough of the chatter what am I using I've been using this for years the super colon cleanse it says it helps with occasional constipation and gentle internal detox that's the part that I like the gentle internal detox it's not gentle <laughs> and I'm just gonna be honest with you but if you can get through it and ensure that you're hydrating as you're using this cleanse you're gonna be absolutely fine and your stomach is gonna thank you for it you guys know this I gain weight all the time but the last place that I will gain weight on this body is my stomach so while I was doing this I was like damn I should really give the girls the tea on what I do. I'm gonna do two scoops. Mm, that looks nasty. Hey, look at that color, disgusting. Absolutely gross, absolutely gross. It smells like earth. <laughs> it, smells, it smells like earth, it smells like wet wood, it smells like something old, it smells old. I don't know how to explain it. It's not horrible, but it doesn't smell like something you want to drink. But bottoms up. I did it I'm gonna have to do that every day for the next three days but we're really hoping for seven again my apologies for the lighting I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of my lineup for 
the, this next trip that we're going on we are going to a wedding however it's going to be a one stone two birds type of situation because when i tell you i need a vacation for how tiring my last vacation was i feel like the last trip wasn't a vacation it was an adventure the amount of work that melissa does on a daily basis with her job and also the amount of work that i've been putting in on my youtube to get you guys to find you guys to provide you guys with great content it's a lot of work being on the beach right now sounds amazing to me so you can see all the little floral prints that are peeking through i won't get too much into this but i just wanted to show you guys you know just some things earlier this week we got home from italy and now i'm planning another vacation and i promise you my life isn't that glamorous it really isn't but really and truly it is right that's the reality and I love that for me. I really do hope that you guys love that for me too because I feel like I'd be taking you guys with me. And I know, I know, I know it's not the same, but I remember, I remember the days where I used to watch so many beautiful black women, women in general, um, I used to watch their videos and the living vicariously through someone isn't a bad thing. You know what I mean? I still do that. I still get inspired by that. I still get motivated by that. So I really do hope that that's how you guys feel when you watch like my content. I really do hope that that it translates and you feel it and read it and recognize what I'm trying to add to the world. The value that I try to bring to the world and bring to you but yeah we love the lineup i already have my airport outfit to go already lined up you know we liked a layer in the airport so this is zara I'll, all right let me give you a peek <laughs> this zara cardigan is gonna be beautiful plus it's a island vacation and this definitely give coastal vibes the the navy and the white is just so beautiful it's gonna look so good in the islands especially just tank top thrown over the shoulder not in the front chef's kiss so i hope you understand that when i say that i've been working i have been working like we're not slacking on the content we're not slacking on the value that i'm bringing to you guys i want to show you guys how i am able to pull outfits together from a wardrobe that i already have over the summer, I was able to add some missing and key pieces to give me what I feel like is a capsule wardrobe. And I do mean that in every sense of the word as it relates to someone who lives in a place where the seasons change. No matter where I have to go right now, if someone, can, someone says to me, hey Naomi, meet me here, let's fly out, let's go here. Whatever that temperature climate looks like, I'm prepared. just to the shower cleaned the master bathroom while i was in there got dressed the bed is already made but i have some laundry clean laundry um, to put away so i'm gonna get to that in just a second 
however i wanted to just come in and open the vlog real quickly and say a big thank you to all my subscribers all my supporters that have been watching my italy vlogs you guys have no idea how much time and effort i put into recording those videos and editing and posting them and trying to make them entertaining and interactive like i don't want to give you boring content i want you guys to be engaged and i just want to say thank you to everyone i see you i appreciate all your efforts and honestly what would this channel be without you enough off the stop sob um you guys i well clearly we're at the house we made breakfast this morning and you guys were able to see a little bit of that but now we're about to just start you know pitter pattering around the house and cleaning up and getting it ready for our next guest that checks in tomorrow evening um we are also going to throw some stuff on the grill just a little bit of corn and stuff and we're also going to go into the garage to see if i can fish out some more of my summer clothes because i use the garage in pa as storage so i still have some summer things that i haven't brought out as yet but i do have a trip coming up so i'd like to go in there and see if there's some pieces that i could bring out because i promise you i'm not buying a goddamn thing more i'm not i'm not doing it i live what i preach and i always tell you before you decide to go and shop in stores shop your closet so that's exactly what i'm going to do so the bed is already made but on top we have some um linens from the apartment in new york so that that's new york apartment linens that i need to fold and pack away i already cleaned the bathroom to the final touches around in the bathroom so this side of the house oh i need to grab my toothbrush as well you know what let me do that now before i forget melissa is in a very important meeting so i have to use my inside inside voice so i don't disturb her meeting but let's get to it some things that I may have that I had in storage and that's exactly what I did laundry is being done so I just want to run through all the things that I picked out so I can toss them in with the laundry as well first thing that I just tried on and I should have turned on the camera when I had them on but it's these super cute nude kitten heels strappy barely there vibe super easy you can wear these casually as well as you can use it to kind of dress up a very casual look for example like this outfit this would be perfect to wear with this outfit with a cute bag just to run out to do errands because the heel is so forgiving love 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 now i feel like i have a brand new pair of sandals did i get any more shoes i did pull out one more pair of shoes and it's these rain boots uh they'll look they look like chelsea boots like regular leather chelsea boots but it's actually rubber next thing that i saw was this really cute white linen dress that i got in mexico okay, it has some stains on it but i'm hoping that that will take care of itself once i put it in the washer i would try it on for you but i just don't have the time next is this pencil skirt but little pops of colors like this in your wardrobe is really really nice especially if you're going on a summery islandy vibe vacation next i wanted to find my other bikini i have a few at home but i just wanted to have another option so it's just kind of like this hunter green high-waisted bikini bottom and top very cute very flattering i think i got this off amazon it is one of those cheeky bikinis so it's a nice narrow cut on the butt next we have this 
dress i've never worn this dress out before and the reason why i didn't wear it before was because back then it was too big now i'm hoping that it's not too small it's really cute it has like little ruffles like a ruffle split detail at the bottom and it has these really nice little fringe at the top with like a slight sweetheart neckline super pretty i'll have to try it on to see if it fits hopefully it fits because it would be perfect and lastly is this dress that i wore to aruba maybe like two years ago very sexy i know it will fit because this dress is super like stretchy so i know it's gonna fit my only problem is how well would it will it fit because my aruba body was banging it was giving very much snatched so we're gonna try some of these on later on but i'm just gonna give them a quick wash since we have laundry going so hello everybody <laughs> last time i picked up this camera was a week ago right now we are set and ready to film my what i got in what i bought in italy the scarf's in here baby nice. i was looking for this scarf but yeah we're going to start shooting so by the time you're seeing this vlog this shopping haul should already be up because it's going up on wednesday i'm not sure when this video is gonna go up maybe next sunday maybe not we'll see what happens anyways talk to you guys later well hello everybody it is a monday july 22nd i am about to do my makeup so i can film the sit down portion to wednesday's video so we all know what happens on monday it is content day yesterday i filmed all the b-roll portions of that video if you've ever seen cutaways of me either showing a product or just showing what i'm talking about those are basically b-rolls and to make today's content filming a little smoother and easier we basically filmed all the b-rolls yesterday a bright under eye but I also want it to be slightly you know muted okay guys makeup is done I'm gonna quickly put on my favorite pair of little drop earrings let's do a ring and a wash yeah I feel like that's pretty let me just add a little bit of pink yeah so pretty mm. <laughs> I know you guys can't smell me, but I feel like every time I get a whiff of how good I smell, it makes me feel better. It brightens my mood. And that very much helps when I'm on camera. I like to feel my best, look my best, smell my best. It really does translate. Okay, you guys. We are dressed and ready to head to the movies. 
Melissa got off work early today and Twister is out. That tornado movie. I'm into it. I saw the trailer a few times when we went to the movies. So, you know, I'm a big movie buff. We love movies. We are big movie lovers around here. So we're going to head to AMC right now. If you've ever wondered how we're able to see so many movies, we have a membership. We pay a monthly membership of, I believe, like $25 a month. And you get to see three movies a week. Yeah. Three movies a week, 12 movies a month. And personally, I like to watch movies in IMAX. And if you're supposed to go and see one movie in IMAX, that's the membership. So if you think about it, the price of one ticket is the price of the membership. So why not? I think my outfit is super cute let me try to give you guys a full look but yeah that's the outfit for the evening a little movie date outfit i think it's cute i think it's giving grown and sexy vibes let me know what you think in the comments Woo! anyways you guys i'll see you in the car So we just got done finished watching Twister. I have no idea when this video is going to go up. But if you get a chance to go see Twister, you should. It was action packed throughout. When I mean from start to the end, I felt like there was something interesting going on. Something intriguing. Definitely worth the watch. And if you're debating whether you should go see it or not, I... I recommend it it was really really good Melissa did not fall asleep not one bit she was locked in the entire movie that's how good it was anyways we just stopped by she's calling me we just stopped at red mango hey baby hey so they have pumpkin yes can I have just what else do they have they have vanilla bean peach white peach original Nutella okay I'm just gonna get the pomegranate yeah, just get a pomegranate and yogurt chips and strawberries. You know it. Yes. All right. All right. Okay. Bye. Now we're just going to wait on babes to get back so we can have our little yogurt treat. Delivery. Whoa. No yogurt chips today. Aw. They run the yogurt chips? So I got strawberries and blueberries. Wow. All right, get it. Let's eat. That looks good. I like the tart stuff. You like the tart stuff? Mm hmm. I like the pomegranate or the mango. Wish I had yogurt chips, but. Yeah, yogurt chips have been buzzing. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. Yeah. Summer nights. Mm hmm. Gonna <sighs> miss these nights when. With the changes, but the best part of summer is late night treats. Mm -hmm. oh, hello, everybody. It is Tuesday afternoon. It's 6:02 p.m. and we are currently heading over to Carrie's house to celebrate her birthday. As a birthday gift, DJ Bartender Cool Skull is going to be the bartender for her birthday get together. She just went to the deli to pick up two bags of ice, and then we are going to stop by her parents' house to pick up some mint for mojitos. You guys know that we have access to the backyard garden, so. Why buy certain things, you know what I mean? Good evening. It's a big one. I know. Yeah, bitch, I said what I said. I'd rather be famous instead. I let all that get to my head. I don't care, I paint the town red. What I said. Got you guys. Look at the garden. Can you imagine? Oh no, this one grew across the fence. It's a 
big squash. Can you imagine how we started that garden when it literally nothing was there? And look how beautiful it is right now to the point where we can come and reap the crops. Go up on what time, trust me. I have magical 